The white, big white rectangles you see above you are chill panels. And basically what they are is just a big flat plate collector, a radiator with a, a coil that snakes on the back side of it. And that, say 78, 79 degrees, you're gonna close your windows and you're gonna go back to your day after loss as your, as your primary source of ventilation. The main feature of that is obviously the safe hand power. It's basically a fanless economizer. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. The problem with radiant is it's slow. It does not react quickly. And then on the, on the inverse of that, as the day heats up, you, you, you've got to coast and then time your, your cool down appropriately. Everything's either T5 or LED lighting in here. You're only lighting in general to about 25 foot candles, um, not 50. Um, so you're, you're going to put and move the, the lighting to the work surface and use task lighting um, where needed so that you're not over lighting the space. Segmented building is a real challenge. Nothing square in this building, which I'm sure you've picked up on. And uh, that really, really, really makes it a challenge. What are some of the things that have significance to the building and have a short ROI? Lighting, lighting control, um, big time. I think that there's a lot of possibilities there. I think you need to do that in conjunction with changing your philosophy of overall lighting. I work uh, for Cushman and Wakefield, we're a third priority property management company and I'm embedded at the Adobe Systems Towers and I'm their global energy manager. Why did you join AFE? Networking. Mainly networking and the programs that they offer. Did you meet any new people? That, Tonight I did. Know? Actually, I have a few business cards. I'm doing a lighting retrofit project where I needed another vendor. Um, I met a fellow tonight that's going to help me uh, give me another proposal for uh, a lighting retrofit on the exterior of my towers that I take care of. I met another fellow that I did business with uh, um, about 14 years ago at a previous job. And um, I remember he was working on getting me into the AFE back then and I didn't know much about it. And I, I didn't join and I'm sorry that I didn't. I should have. Um, I wasn't certain of the value, but now I, you know, over the years I've learned that there's great value in these networking organizations. And I'd read um, William McDonough's book, Cradle to Cradle, so I was interested that he was the um, architect for it. Said I do also like seeing like um, when a bunch of people go into a building and you can tell what their interests are by what they're looking. So that there's a guy next to me, a lighting guy, and he's out there checking all the lighting, and then somebody else is like, what kind of valve is that? And I'm over there going, what kind of faucet is that? What kind of floor is that? And then somebody else is in the furniture, and then somebody else is looking at the fire system.